I've always wanted a digital picture frame to showcase AI generated images, a frame that could display random daily artwork or create visuals from text prompts on the fly. Today, I'll be building an AI image plugin for my DIY e-ink display. This project also comes with a web UI, making it easy to configure and provide text prompts for images and schedule updates. Later in the video, I'll also be building an AI text plugin to display dynamic text content like random daily quotes, historical events, book or movie recommendations, fun facts, or anything else that ChatGPT can output. This project uses a 7.3 inch e-ink display powered by a Raspberry Pi. You can check out my previous video for a full tutorial on the hardware and software setup for this project. To get started, we'll first need to generate an API key to access OpenAI's API. For this, we'll head over to the OpenAI website and log in or create an account if you don't have one already. Next, we'll navigate to the API Keys tab in the Settings page and click Create New Secret Key. Here, you can give the key a name, assign it to the default project, and generate the key. On the next screen, copy the generated key and store it somewhere safe. Now, we'll open the terminal screen and SSH into the Raspberry Pi. We'll navigate to the IncuPy directory and create a new .env file to store the API key. We'll give it the name OpenAI Secret and paste the API key we copied earlier. Then we'll save the file and exit and we're ready to build the plugin. To build the plugin, I started by creating a new directory in the IncuPy repository. In the directory, I created a simple settings page with a text input for the image prompt. I also created an icon using the ChatGPT logo to be displayed in the UI. Then, I defined a new class for the plugin with a function to generate an image. In this function, we're reading the OpenAI secret from the .env file and retrieving the text prompt provided from the front end. Using the API key, I instantiate the OpenAI client and call the image generation endpoint. Here, I provide the model, text prompt, image size, and quality as arguments. The API returns a response containing the image URL which I used to fetch the generated image. And finally, we simply return the image which will be displayed. Now we can test the plugin and try giving it a prompt. After getting the image generation working, I added a few extra options to the plugin settings, like the image model and quality options, mainly for testing since the older models are cheaper to use. To make things more interesting, I also introduced a randomized text prompt option. When selected, this makes a request to the text generation endpoint to enhance the initial input and make the image prompts more detailed and creative. In the code, I defined these system and user prompts here after some trial and error. Then, I'm calling the text generation endpoint with the GPT 4.0 model in a high temperature setting to produce more random responses. As an example, when we provide the same duck prompt from earlier, the plugin first calls the text generation endpoint to generate a more detailed prompt, then calls the image generation endpoint with the new prompt resulting in this new image. To offer more flexibility, I added support for images when the display is vertically oriented, which can be configured in the settings page. For this, I'm simply changing the size argument in the image request based on the orientation. The image aspect ratio doesn't exactly match the display aspect ratio, so the images get cropped and resized a bit before being displayed. One issue I've encountered with the image generation is that the output images sometimes include frames or empty spaces around them. I've tried playing around with the prompts to avoid this, but I haven't had any success. If you have any tips or ideas for refining the prompts, let me know in the comments. Before we continue, a quick word about the sponsor of today's video, Pimeroni. Pimeroni is a leading UK-based company specializing in hobbyist electronics. As an official reseller of Raspberry Pi, Adafruit, SparkFun, and many other major brands, they also design and manufacture an impressive range of their own products, including the inky impression featured in this project. They were impressed by my last video and reached out to collaborate, and as a fan of their products, I was thrilled to partner with them. Through their website, they offer a wide range of products, including Raspberry Pi accessories, e-ink displays, and unique DIY kits like the PiCade arcade machine. You can check out their website through the affiliate link in the description below. 
Now back to the video. With the image plugin working, I wanted to add a similar plugin to display AI text content using the text generation models. For this, I defined a new plugin in a similar way and gave it a new icon. In the plugin page, I added input fields for the title and for the text prompt to use in the request, as well as a model selection dropdown. In the code, I'm calling the text generation endpoint using the system and user prompts here. I'm including the current date as additional context, which is needed for content like daily headlines or historical events that occurred on a specific date. As an example, we can test the plugin by requesting a random dad joke and give it a title. The plugin generates an image with the title and the generated text, wrapping the lines and adjusting the spacing dynamically. Next, I wanted to add more customization to the image, so I introduced options like image frames, background color or background image, and text color. We can try this out by uploading a background image and a text prompt to get a random historical event that occurred today. I think there are a lot of fun and interesting use cases for this plugin, but here are a few that I've been playing around with. Combined with the scheduling feature, we can configure the display to refresh daily and display dynamic content from any prompts. In terms of the API costs, the pricing depends on the models you use and the refresh frequency. For images, the default Dolly 3 model with standard quality costs around $0.08 cents per image, so requesting a daily image for a month would total around $2.5. For text prompts, the API costs are much lower. Based on my usage, a single request typically uses around 250 tokens, and refreshing daily for a month costs around 5 cents. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions for plugins, you can comment them down below, and as always, you can find the GitHub repo with the source code in the description.